Oh, hello, my friends. It's me again, your favorite denture wearer. I sure hope everybody everybody's doing okay today. Let me grab a cup of coffee here. You know, I made fun of myself yesterday. I said I'm not a very technical guy. I'm kind of technically challenged. But the fact of the matter is that I don't know too many people that can set up cameras like this and record their audio separately and be able to synchronize it all together at the same time. It's a very difficult process, but I've learned how to do it. And I love being able to do videos like this. I've got my little wind microphone on here. This blocks all the wind noise. You don't hear anything. So when I say I'm technically challenged, or that I'm technologically challenged, I don't necessarily mean that I can't do things, because I can do things. And it's not necessarily that I can't figure something out, because I can always figure something out. Just like with the drone, it took me about 10 minutes to figure out how to fly that drone and accurately fly it, not professionally, but accurately be able to move it up and down and side to side and front to back and get it to go around in a circle and things like that. It took me a few minutes to be able to do that, but one of the things that I needed with that drone was for it to record in the same format that my audio records at. So my audio records in MP4, and what that means is any cameras that I buy, any cameras that I pick up, need to be able to record in H.264 format. That way the audio from the microphone and the audio from the camera can synchronize and I don't have a problem. Once I synchronize the audio from the camera and the video, then all I have to do is delete the audio from the camera and keep this audio because it's much more clear and much more crisp. Editing is another story. The way I've got these cameras set up, I have a little trick that I use to be able to synchronize, say for example, from this camera to that camera over there, I have some walking space. So when I do my synchronization for my audio, I walk. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So because I know how long it takes to walk from one camera to the next, I can simply line up the audio for this camera, knowing how long it took me to walk from that camera to this camera. Now I can also continue to speak in between cameras and for example, you're going to see me just walk past this other camera and start heading up the stairs. And I can speak clearly through this audio mic with this camera, or with this uh, audio setup. Now obviously, this camera landed on the floor in here. We're just going to set it on the table. So one of my cameras fell off the window. <laughs> the camera I had in the house fell off the window, so I'll come back out to this camera. So once in a while we have, I have issues like that. The suction cups don't hold to the glass very well in some cases. Um, and that's okay. I don't need to cut that part out because you can still hear everything I'm saying and the audio is still lined up with this camera and that camera. So yeah, I make fun of myself and say that I'm technologically challenged when in fact I'm really not. I can actually do a lot more than I could a year ago, two years ago, four years ago. Technology used to be a real pain in the ass for me to understand. I had a difficult time understanding it. But once I started grasping what it meant, 
And I'm telling you, YouTube tutorials, understanding how to synchronize an external mic with a video camera has really played a big part in this for me. You know I have trouble reading. You know I have difficulty when I'm trying to read and things like that. So even though I have difficulty reading, I can understand what I hear. So when somebody tells me how to do something, I can generally understand it. Now let me show you this, how I've got this set up. So I've got this camera here, right here. And I've got another camera on the camper over here. So I can just walk over here to this camera and I can just keep talking while I'm walking because both cameras are recording. And so is the one in the house, although I'll just have to delete that track because it's just laying on the floor. It's recording the floor right now. <laughs> it's just laying on the floor recording. Actually, I picked it up and put it on the table. So now it's recording the top of the table. But when I say I'm technologically challenged, I don't mean that I can't figure things out. What I mean by that is that it's difficult for me to read and follow instructions because I'm a visual and audio learning kind of guy. I learn from listening and watching. And as long as there's videos out there showing me how to do something or explaining why this audio doesn't line up with this camera and things like that, I can understand it completely clear. So knowing that, I knew that I needed to get a 1080 drone that recorded in H.264 format so that my audio would line up with the video, my MP4 audio, which by the way, I've showed you this before. I'm using this little Taz cam recorder. This is a phenomenal little recorder. I can record in MP4, MP3, several formats, but I like the MP4 format because it's so much more clear than There I go being There I go being technologically challenged again. Anyway, <laughs> it's so much more clear for me in the MP4 format as opposed to the other formats. The MP3 format for me wasn't clear enough. So even though I don't have my microphone tucked inside my shirt right now, it really doesn't matter, you know. Uh, I just wanted to get out here and make this video real quick before my next appointment. So I wanna make sure that I get videos up for you guys, even if they're not about dentures. I know a lot of you guys like to watch my videos, even if they're not about dentures. So, and you like to watch my toothless videos and you like to watch me going for rides on my motorbike and stuff. And I wanna say thank you to all of you that watch my videos regardless of whether they're about dentures or not. And I wanna thank everybody that watches my videos that watches them specifically for dentures. I appreciate all of you. I love you all, You're, you have made this channel what it is, and I greatly appreciate it. In the meantime, that'll be it for today, my friends. I hope everybody has an amazing day. I will see you in tomorrow's video. Don't forget to keep smiling, keep trying, and whatever you do, never give up.